All right, y'all, so I need y'all's help with this one. I know I owe y'all some videos on some reality shows, Black Ink Chicago and all that shit, but I really just did not feel like talking about that. And this is what's on my heart. Is there something wrong with me because I don't want to be in a relationship and I need y'all's help with this? So listen, I'm pretty content being single, right? Moreover, I like it. I prefer it. But I question if something is wrong with me because seemingly everybody around me, their end all be all goal is to be in a relationship. Um, what really got me thinking about this topic is I watched the round table with Jada Pinkett and her mom and August Alsina when they were talking about addiction and Jada Pinkett's mom made the comment that she was one of those women who um, always had to have a man. She felt like her value was in having a man. Then I've got other people around me that their only focus is having a man or they're in bad relationships but they stay in them for the sake of having a man and I've never felt that before so it made me look introspectively and say okay is something defective with me because I don't have that gene that says I gotta find a mate. Like when I look at my future and when I look at me being 80 years old, I promise you there is no vision whatsoever of it being me and somebody else. Like when I think of where my life is going to be 20 years from now, nowhere in the picture is it me, this person, and a mansion with a maid. Like I, I'm just not wired or programmed that way. And it's it's I mean, do I want to be programmed that way? I don't know. Like I look at half the folks that I know that are in relationships and majority of them want to get out of them. That's a whole other video. So, you know, I kind of thought about where this comes from. Is it natural? Is it innate in us to want to be in relationship or is it a matter of conditioning? Um, I don't know. They didn't teach me that when I went out of Florida State University and got my degree in economics, but I will say this. I do think I've identified where some of it comes from. So on my mom's side of the family, there is zero example of relationship. Everybody, man and woman on my mom's side of the family have the same story. They either fell in love with or got married in their early 20s to third to early early 30s had kids divorced separated broke up was never in a relationship anymore my mom and dad got a divorce when i was two months old i've never seen my mother with another man my grandmother her husband died my grandfather died before i was born never seen my grandmother with another man same thing with all my aunts my grandma my grandmother has six sisters same thing same story same thing happened to me my early 20s you know i fell in love with somebody was in a living relationship with this person for two years that has been my last serious relationship so there's no example of relationship on my mom's side of the family right so i did not grow up wanting to be like Uncle Mark and Aunt Vicky. There was no Uncle Mark and Aunt Vicky. And as far as on my dad's side, um, my dad and my stepmom are married, have been married for 30 something years, but they have a marriage I wouldn't want. So again, growing up, I just never saw a union that was worth anything to me, or I never saw a union that made me say, okay, I want to be like that when I grow up. So I think that's part of it. Um, then when you factor in, you know, the gay thing, you know, yeah, gay people are in relationships and for years we've been calling gay people significant other, they roommate, they lover, their partner. Um, knowing that I was gay, you know, as early as the third grade, the whole getting married, having kids, living happily ever after, during my formative years, I never dreamed in that color because marriage with two men or two women wasn't an option when I was a kid. 
that's some that's something that came about later on and so because that came at the expiration of my formative years I never dreamed in that color either so here we are now I'm 34 I'll be 35 this August on the 20th and I just have no desire for no another man to have his frowsy ass up in my life now I think part of the problem is you know, I'm not lacking anything. And not to say that people get in relationships because they're lacking something, but let's face it. A lot of times people make relationship decisions like this. Okay. You know, uh, you know, I'm a single mom. I need help. You know, he's got a good job. This would be a good matchup. Or, you know, the, the, the man says, okay, I'm always on the road. You know, my house and my life is a mess. I would like someone to just be able to balance out my busy life. And, you know, and not saying that all people make relationship decisions that way. But, but listen, we get with people who fill voids and hopefully we fill theirs. And it's an interlocking puzzle piece. I'd like to consider my life pretty pretty whole. I think another reason why I'm not that interested in relationships is because I have an above average social life. Like I have a really healthy social life with a lot of great friends. So I think emotionally I'm not missing anything um, in that regard. I mean, the only thing that my friends can't give me is sex. I can't even say my friends can't give me intimacy because we do have intimacy and very intimate moments and I can be vulnerable with these people. You know, they can't give me sex. Well, let's think about it. I'm not going to base my life off of a 20 minute need. You know what I'm saying? Like there are people in my phone I can call every now and again when I need a tune up and I do. So again, it's something wrong with me because I don't want to be in a relationship or not even so much that I don't want to be in it. I don't desire it. Like I'm, I'm not out like, Oh, I need a man. I don't watch the, the TV and be like, damn, I wish I had what they had. The thought of another person being in my space actually kind of turns me off. Um, being that close to somebody. Um, and maybe that's it. Maybe I have, issues with being that close to people. I don't know. Um, you know, long term, when we talk about marriage, anybody who was to get in relationship with me, it would have to be a hybrid relationship. And maybe as I'm thinking out loud, I'm starting to make sense of it all. Maybe it's a non-traditional relationship that I require. Um, the whole we live together and it's Friday night and I can't make plans with my friends because I have to kind of consider what you might want to do first. That doesn't work for me. Um, moreover, I don't want to be responsible for somebody else's feelings. Like that's just a lot of responsibility to me and you know I'll admit this I am so responsibility adverse that's why I don't like kids I don't like not that I don't like them I don't want kids I don't like a lot of obligations I don't like schedules I don't like committing to things because I just I like to live free as a bird um that's why I said maybe a long distance relationship would work for me um, you get the benefits of having somebody there in your corner who you can be in connection with a little deeper than friends without all the responsibilities of a full time lover. That would work for me, even in a situation where I know that the other person is entertaining other people sexually. That would work for me. Uh, a truck driver boyfriend. Y'all laugh when I put this on Instagram. A truck driver boyfriend will work for me. Somebody who is in town, you know, two days out the week, out of town the rest, then maybe they come in town for a week or two, then they're going back out on the road. That would work for me. 
I have a friend who told me a story and, I, and, and I'm worried about this too because I'm only 34 and the only thing that we know is that we know nothing at all. And you know, I would not be surprised that I get a little older and then all of a sudden, like magic, I have this desire to be in a relationship, which is very likely. But what scares me about it is by that point, I would have been single for so long. How do you merge two lives? A friend of mine told me a story about two friends of hers who were two well-to-do uh, people, got married in their 40s. And they were faced with trying to consolidate lives. They were out looking for houses, a marital home, and it became very stressful. They both had their own separate homes in which they work hard for and they loved their homes. And then in the midst of all the stress of looking for a joint home and dealing with who's gonna sell their house, who's gonna keep theirs, a light bulb went off when they both said, wait a minute, who says that we have to live together? And I'm like, you know what? An individual that thinks along that wavelength, that would work for me. And I promise you, I could honor all the traditional covenants of marriage without living with somebody. I just don't think cohabitation would work for me. Um, you know, and when I have these conversations with people, they rush to judgment and the first thing they say, you want to be a married single person. Um, no, I just don't think that there's a rule book that says the moment I get in a relationship with somebody or I get married with somebody, that I have to leave my life behind, stop being friends with people, consider them first. I, I, I don't know that it has to be that. Um, moreover, I'm at the point now that if I was to one day want to be in this loving situation with somebody, I don't know that marriage is necessarily the, the route I would go. Um, for me, marriage has absolutely nothing to do with love and everything to do with merging two social security numbers. So for me, marriage is uh, marriage would be marriage is nothing more than a vehicle for building, in my opinion. I mean, when you look at marriage from you know the, the early times, the early Roman times, the ancient times, marriage was simply a financial come up. It was like, okay, his family uh, owns three farms and 300 pieces of cattle. I got this pretty ass virgin daughter from a poor family and all we got is two sheep and one hog. I give my daughter to you. Now our family is somewhat on your family's level. That's what marriage was. Um, I don't know that I, I, I would get married really under two circumstances. If I was marrying up um, or you know, if we both came into the picture somewhat on the same level, but I just see the potential for us to truly, truly build um, economically and leave a legacy. But if it's just, you know, we're just madly in love and our, our you know, prospects for building are, you know, very minimal, then we just gonna sit up in here in love. Um, hell, if I ever get to that damn point. Um, so I don't know y'all is something wrong with me like even tonight I looked in my closet I got a real nice suit in there that I bought and I was like and I went in my bathroom when I was thinking about this video and I got some nice cologne I was looking at my watches and I was like you know what I would like tonight for somebody to call me and say meet them at a restaurant we got a reservation I would not mind going to the restaurant getting dressed I would not mind having some good conversation um, I would not mind coming home and fucking, but then it's like, after that, you gotta go like, you know, and I don't know what that is. And I don't know if I'm putting too much thought into it. Am I beating myself up because I'm not like everybody else? I don't know. Y'all help me figure it out. Is there something wrong with me? Because I don't want to be in a relationship. I'm dying to hear what y'all got to say. I'll call you later. That's a girl. Bye.